What's up guys? Jake Slay's Mobile Gallery Outdoors. I'm on the camera today. Hawks on the gun. We're on a PCS property. Our permission to hunt. Haven't heard any times, but we think a good reason why is there's a, a five pack of Jake's that stay together. And they're hammering. They're not very far. So, we'll see what happens. I know Moose and his father close to a time right now so hopefully we all can put some birds down but stay tuned we'll see what happens well Woo! I'm sorry well on the side, I'm just gonna walk out to the road. That's what I'm just gonna say. Well, as turkey hunting goes, a guy heard the Jake's got one, pulls off on the side of the road right in front of us, starts yelping on a box call. Now he's standing there hooting from the road. And I hooted to him to let us, you know, to let any guy with common sense know people are set up right here. You saw our truck. But in doing so, the birds gobbled. Didn't talk to him, talked to me. So now we're gonna have to make a move because, well, essentially we got cut off by a road hunter, so we can make a move and see what we can do. Hopefully, he can't really make too many moves from where he is, Grant, because he's on the frickin' road and the birds aren't far, that's why they shut up from them. They're actually going up and away from them, which helps us, so. Looks like we're gonna have to put some walking in. But, uh, the chronicles of hunting with Jake and Hawk continue. Whenever we hunt together, this is the kind of stuff that happens. But, is what it is. We'll get on these birds, we got plenty of time. It's like 6.20, stay tuned. Well, like I said, and by road hunter, I just mean a guy that pulls over on the side of the road, hoots, box call, if he hears a bird, he goes for it, but he uh, cut us off, and after I hooted to him to let him know, you know, we are in here, he clearly did not care, but birds were gobbling, so at the end of the day, you can get mad, or you can make a move, so Hawk and I used the train, got up and around those jakes, there's a two towns up top gobbling and a property we can't hunt but we're about 30 yards from the property line we're gonna call see where this bird is and then uh, set up accordingly so we should have some good space between the guy that cut us off and and uh, the turkeys as well so end of the day that stuff's gonna happen not everyone uh, has the best, I guess, hunting ethics, but it is what it is. You gotta make moves, adjust, kill birds. So we're gonna call real quick, see if we, we can't get them to gobble and set up accordingly. We made our move, got up and around and just fired up a long beard. So we'll see what happens. So I, I'm just gonna be real calm. Yes. Well, she might. If you call light, she ain't gonna run away. You just can't get on them. That's why I'm trying not to go unless I have to.
He's coming. Look. Top left. Right by that dark tree. He's strutting right behind it. I'm like, I got the camera. He's coming. He's right on that flag. That bird worked in about 100 yards. We could see him up there strutting, drumming, hammering. We tried scratching leaves. We tried going quiet. We tried everything. 
and he just did not want to come back down this way. Wouldn't do it. He finally shut up now. Used half my camera's battery on that one. Pretty close to two hours of trying everything to get this bird. He'd work off, he'd come back, and he'd stay right there on that point. I don't think he ever saw the decoys, but I don't know. He just did not want to come down, so I'm trying to come up with a game plan on how to get around him, get above him, and try to work him, but we can't go in front of us because we can't hunt that property. But if we can wrap around or something, get above him, it's a big move, but he wants it. He just, we weren't where he wanted to be. Still, that was freaking awesome just getting to work birds. I really thought he was going to, we called him from a long way off. I thought he was going to take a nap, but he just might. It's 8.50, we've got plenty of time. Just got to figure out a game plan and make a move. Well, classic New York hunt. You get a bird that's hot and gobbling, you better capitalize. As you guys saw, we worked that bird for two and a half hours, tried everything from going silent to scratching leaves to getting on them. The only thing that really got his attention is when we got on him. But he just did not feel comfortable about coming down to where we were. He couldn't see the decoys and uh, eventually just worked off, but we'll find him another day. Couldn't really make a move on him in the way he went, so he wins today. But we've been, there's turkey feather right there. We've been to three different properties now since then, trying to spark a gobble, haven't heard nothing. And uh, that's just, how it is. Uh, early season, it gets really hard. Of course, it's just turkey hunting. That's all it is to it. They get like this. Some days they can make you look like you know what you're doing. Other days they make you feel stupid. It's just, that's why it's so beautiful when it all comes together, but it doesn't look like today is going to be one of those days, but still is intense. As long as we're working birds, it don't matter about the outcome. It's just you learn something new every time, and uh, yeah, you just keep going, keep grinding. If you guys have a good feeling this is going to be the end, unless we spark something up here walking out. We got about 20 minutes, so it could happen, but good odds it's not. Guys, just another day in heaven in the turkey woods. You win some, you lose some, you love every minute of it. Guys, it's Jake Sleeves with Blue Collar Outdoors, and we will catch you on the next one. Hope, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good season. Take her easy.